Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Supermarket Simulator game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to create a backup of your save game files and delete the save game files. But when you delete the save game file, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can follow this step. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So open file explorer in your computer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data, now if you don't see app data over here on the top click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items, you should be able to see app data folder. Now open app data folder, now open local low folder, scroll down and you will find this folder, Nocta games, open this folder and then open open supermarket simulator folder and over here you will find the save game files now you can copy this supermarket simulator folder just copy it and you can just create a backup first so you can paste it somewhere on your computer so i have created a backup now once you have the backup you can delete this supermarket simulator folder you can make a right click and then delete and then launch the game the game will start from scratch so you will lose all the game progress and you have to start it start everything from scratch you should be able to launch the game that should fix the problem but still you're facing the problem the next step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder now select the game exe file and then open once the once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then open control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app browse and then again open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and now click on add in my case the game is already added check if there are any more exe file you can open these folders if you find any more exe file so this is the only exe file so click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now make a right click on the game exe file, select properties. Go to the second tab over here and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok make a double click over here try launching the game from here if that does not work again make a right click select properties and then this time put a check over here select windows 8 from the list apply and then click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can again make a right click go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here apply ok and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work again make a right click properties and then this time put a check on disable full screen optimization apply ok make a double click launch the game now still it's not launching in that case if when you put a check on all these boxes it's not working then you can uncheck all these these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files 
now once the verification is complete then you can launch the game so make sure verification is 100% complete and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case you can try let me quit first if this then make a right click once again select properties over here type in dash dx12 dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check now still not working in that case you can make a right click once again and you can remove this clear it and then follow the next step now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now select your product type make sure that you select the right product type for me it's ge4 select the right series for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search and then scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.76 so whichever is the latest graphic driver over here whichever, whichever is the latest one you can click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete uh, run this exe file and then click on ok and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option make sure that you select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let first of all it will uninstall the previous driver and then it will do a clean installation of the latest graphic card driver and once that is done once this process is complete then restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box so type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings click on browse go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added over here now click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 
two, four, five, seven, six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and download x64 you have to download both the files run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and then download x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 and then run this file as well now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete both x86 x86 and x64 now once both the installation are complete you will see a restart option like this so make sure that you restart your computer after this so once this is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to now next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have these devices connected you can disconnect it if you have additional USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. If you have additional controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any ex any services or application running, uh, any third party application or services, just close it, including all your browsers. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt. Now disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right, right click on the game, select properties. Now over here, the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, turn it off and then check. Also disable overlay in Discord, disable overlay in GeForce experience. So close other overlay application and then check. Also close overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner or any other overclocking application running, you can close it and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then so type in system configuration over here and then and then open system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out I already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure first of all put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on OK you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update your system BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have acer or asus or hp computer go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available and then install the install the bios now in case of laptop before you update the system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to, if you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. Now, if you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this, skip this step. If you are able to launch the game, then try window mode and then lower down graphics settings.
now go to settings and then over here if the resolution is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then check now if it is set to full screen you can uncheck it you can try window mode if graphics quality is set to high you can try medium or you can even go for low quality and then check the performance now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder so wherever the game is installed you can first of all you have to uninstall it uninstall it and then go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder after you uninstall it delete the game folder and then restart your computer and after the system restart try reinstalling the game to different drive suppose if the game is installed to another drive like if the game is installed to external drive you can try installing the game to c drive so try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive in that case you can uninstall the game and then try to install the game to different another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel